Hello and welcome back to our survival let's play on No Man's Land. We are starting on the hop because even though it's dark and I don't normally like recording, yeah, recording when it's like this, there's a couple of things, well there's one major thing that I want to start on with because I've just checked the price and one of the prices is going back down. So we're going to get do you know what? I bet you I can't put two different types of donuts in there, can I? I bet we're going to have to put one type in. Let's try it. I don't think we'll be able to, though. Yeah, we can't. So let's put these in. This is what we're going to start off doing. We're going to sell both lots um, straight away. One price is stalled. I can't remember which way around it is, but one of the prices is stalled and the other price is on its way down. Um, they're both at really good prices. It's not like I'm I'm going to be complaining about what we're going to get for them. But then once we've done this, there's a couple of things we're going to have to change around the productions. With that, with the introduction of um, that all-in-one production there, You'll see we've skipped through December, the second day in December, like I said we were going to, because we there wasn't anything to do. Um, so yeah, we've skipped through there, but there's been knock-on uh, consequences for it, which I'll show you. We're still at 87 for that. There's also, <laughs> by skipping through, I've totally forgot to do something, which I'll show you when we get back down. Right, I don't even know why I'm going down there. This is what we want to be on. And, mate, oh, we can only sell at the grocery store. I don't know if we could sell up at the the main site. So, 12,000 litres worth of donuts. And these are going to be selling at 5,300. But, the, like I said, these are the ones that are going down, so... It's just off, 3,400 is the highest that you're going to get, and it's just off that. So I'm more than happy to be selling at that. Um, I mean, already, we can see. <laughs> My word. 52,000, 52,500 plus just under 6,000 for environmental score. We will take that all day long. And now... Don't knock the butter over. And now let's do... The same with the strawberry ones. Now there's not as many strawberry ones simply because I couldn't, to start with, I couldn't produce strawberries quick enough. Until I've changed the productions around. Um, we are going to get slightly more of this, I think it's about four and a half for the strawberry ones. Right. Um, yep, four and a half we're going to get for that. We'll have to look at doing chocolate as well. Because I think we're now... We're now producing enough milk to be able to... Do we need anything else for chocolate? I can't even remember. Right. We're rattling through there now as well, are we? 31, so 34, 35, 35 grand. So straight away we start. Where are we at? We start January off with 85 grand's worth of sole products. I do not mind that at all. I am quite happy with that. Um, right, productions. Let's get over here. What we'll do first though, because I can imagine it'll need it, is we'll go and take this over here. Get 
put that in there. And they're back up and running. You'll see strawberries are low. However, if we come over here, you'll see we've got 11,000 litres of strawberries. And we've produced all this wool. So we're going to have to do something where... I think we're just going to have to stop distributing, start star, uh, storing them again, because that's just daft. Is that the one I've just done? Yeah. That's the one I've just done. Um, what we're making there, strawberries, storing. I mean, it's going to be an absolute pain, haven't they? pick them all up and and take them again but I have maple syrups full uh, right we'll have to sort that out this month I can imagine I'm going to be running low right oats as well we running low on um, store the lettuce and store the tomatoes it's an absolute pain we having to do that because i mean that's helped so much but we can't be doing with everything coming here i'm now gonna have to is there any way I... there's no way i can get the strawberries out of there is there now I think there's going to be a close. Oh, oh a close pallet's two and a half thousand. Oh, there. What's that there? Close. Yes. Yeah, brilliant. Our first close pallet. I don't know when the best price is for clothes. Um, not until April, so we've got a few months. Hopefully, we'll get at least another pallet of them. Got plenty of wool in there. It's only used 4,000 litres of wool, not even that at the minute. But we do need. Get round? Yep, let's get round. We do need to take this flower and put it in here. Is it going to take it itself? No, it's not. There we go. Oh, that's empty now, isn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, that'll start up with the bread again. There might be a few more tweaks we have to make. Um, any of these make chocolate? That one doesn't. I know that all in one production will. No, let's quickly go and have a look see what we need for chocolate because if we can make that... There we go. Ah, sugar. And that is where we're going to struggle. Because we don't have any. But we do have a field worth of um, sugar beet ready to harvest in this uh, in this in-game month, so that might be where we can start cracking on with that. Right now with that we fiddled about with them, and we had to fiddle about with them as well. We had no no option. We'll get, we still have plenty of butter in there, like, we'll get back down to the farm and we'll get cracking. We've got a canola field to do, we've got a sugar beet field to do, we've got a field that we've made. It's just an oversight in that I'm gutted about, but it's one of them things. Um, so yeah, let's get back down.
Right, I feel like we've made a good start. Um, the thing we're going to do next is we're going to get the sugar beet out the ground. The reason for that is I want to get another load of um, sugar production going uh, with our new factory. So I put some weight on the front. I can't remember if it needs it or not. And we've got the tyre simply because of these tyres. The thing that I mentioned about the field is look at these weeds so within the sorghum we've got a full load of fully grown large weeds that I can't do anything about um, yeah I mean luckily sorghums I think it's the quickest out of the sort of the crops it's the quickest grown crop isn't it at four months from what I remember um, so it won't be too impactful we literally grow on this purely just to give to the chickens anyway so I mean I'm not happy about it but it's one of them things it hasn't happened for a while so yeah right let's unfold this And I remember last time we have to set it to unload, don't we? Which I think is that. Or maybe not. Ah, there we go. That's not this. This took ages last time, didn't it? I wonder if you can windrow these. Never even thought about that before. I'm sure you can't, but it would be good if you could. I mean, this is a cracking mod, this isn't it? I, I can't remember how much we paid for it because it was a while ago now that I bought it, but. I love stuff like this in the game, absolutely love it. I'm not going to get all the way down to the bottom there, I'm going to have to go across, I think. Yep. Let's get that lifted up. Get a bit of a headland going here. We probably have to come back a couple of times as well. We need to start filling that as well. I could be making four grand, every, well, about four and a half grand, couldn't I? Every hour. That we're just not at the minute. Because we not filling it with anything and we've got silage and we've got slurry so we should be doing it really and we will have sugar bead um, how much I'm going to put in there I'm not sure because like I said I want to get a second strain of um, of sugar going But yeah, mods like this absolutely make the game for me. Especially when um, we get back to doing our roleplay series. Really rely on uh, on stuff like this. But there's all sorts of like little implements like this, um, little mowers and um, like old tethers. 
think there's a there's an old sort of I think it's a potato planter that looks really cool um, all the old trucks and the defenders yeah they look great I love this I love stuff like that because I mean it's not that often really is it that you see sort of a brand spanking new bit of kit well, it certainly isn't wrong where I live. You do get sort of newer equipment, but generally, they make the equipment last a long time, don't they? So, yeah, more of this, please. Right, I might not get all this done in one go here. I'll go back back down there once. We'll have to have a look see what's in used machinery as well actually. Um because I haven't Certainly haven't had a look since I've come back on it. No, nothing. Nothing at the minute. I will not bang into there because so I'll be daft. Right. This seems like a sort of glisten. I don't know if it's just the light but off the top of the um it looks really good. Off the top of the sugar beet. It's like a sort of glistening effect. I don't know if that is coming across or not. Right, what we're gonna do we'll get into a time lapse. Obviously, this is going to take a while, um, and then what I tend to, or what I did with the other field was, I sort of pushed it all together and it made it a lot easier to then deal with. So we'll probably do that again, and then at some point we'll be back. So, like a lot of my time lapses at the minute, I've, I've sort of cut right down on how long the time lapses are. Um, so I don't see this one being any different, so I'll not be on. finally done or almost done it's clear it's took I mean you can see it's up it's 20 past 2 and the weather has just got really really bad so we wouldn't really be able to continue anywhere um, we'll get this last bucket full put in here we've ended up getting just over a hundred thousand litres just off this field here which I thought was really good to be honest we've put 60 odd thousand litres up at the new production site to get the sugar from and then this will be the second truck but obviously the second load but only two thirds of one that's going in here so we'll end up having about 30 35 36 thousand litres Going through here. Might also start whacking the silage in here as well. There's not much more we're going to be doing in today's video, you see, because, I mean, with the weather like this, there's, there's not much we could be doing anyway, is there? So 
Lord, there is one more thing. We are going to buy something before... Before we go. I'm going to get some of this silage in first. Yeah, I think doing small fields of sugar beet like that's going to be uh, going to be really beneficial. We've already shown the benefits of putting it through uh, the BJ. And there's a couple of spaces as well, a couple of more spaces just over there that we can put smaller fields in. That triangle bit in the middle of the roads, that's probably one, because I just don't know what to put in there. Right, I'll do one more and I think we'll finish and we'll actually have a decent length episode. I mean, next time, that canola is going to have to um, be harvested because I know we're getting low on canola as well. Uh, going through the mill. And I don't think we've got any left. I think we just put it all in, didn't we? All in the old mill, so we're not storing any. And then obviously we'll have this field to turn around with it being sugar beet it'll need ploughing as well right as soon as we're in here I'll just take you and I'll show you what we're going to purchase this bit here that's what I'm I don't know what to do with it, I don't have to try get a building in there, I don't have to put a sugar beet field in there or what, I don't know. Right, the thing we're going to purchase is this bit of land here, because I've got a plan. Right, it's not, 91 we're up to, not bad. Um, it's not a plan we're going to be do, able to do straight away, but I'm going to get, I'm going to purchase it now. 85 grand because what we can do we can start clearing it and we can get the grass off it and then we'll have time to make some a bit more money to get everything put into place that we need so we're going to leave it here thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one